Bryant was an NBA All-Star. He was just another high school kid trying to dazzle college coaches and NBA scouts during the summer recruiting season. And it was at the ABCD camp where Kobe got his rep. I remember watching Kobe when I was here. I was at Kansas at the time, and uh, having played with Michael Jordan, I said to that day that Kobe was the closest thing I've ever seen to Michael Jordan, and so far I think that's holding pretty true to form. Now coaches and scouts make their annual pilgrimage to the ABCD camp, looking for the next Kobe. <laughs> Next superstar, not the next Kobe Bryant. Lenny Cook, senior, Old Japan High School, Old Japan, New Jersey. Kobe is Kobe, and I'm LeBron. You know, I gotta do what I gotta do. LeBron James, Jr., same thing to St. Mary, Akron, Ohio. My favorite player is my brother, Jamel Thomas. He's my favorite player because he's my role model. Sebastian Telfair, sophomore, Lincoln High School, Brooklyn, New York. I wanna be better than Kobe. I wanna be better than him. Dwayne Williams, freshman, modern day high school, Marietta, California. Bryant's coming again yeah. tonight. I got a question for him again. Are you gonna ask him? Same thing I asked him last year. Put me one on one in front of everybody. What'd he say? He said, "Hit one out. When I get to the league, he'll give me 50. I respect Kobe as a person, as a, as well as a player. He's a great basketball player. I can't take nothing. You can't take nothing away from him. But I'm not saying, oh, I want to be like Kobe. If anything, I say, oh, I want to be like Mike. We gonna listen to him because we see, oh, he's Kobe Bryant." one of the best players in the NBA. He's one of my favorite players. And it's like, you want to listen to him and you know he's going to tell you the right thing because he's in the same shoes you're in right now. Let's, let's play five against one. <laughs> yo, man, yo, don't do that, yo, because if he trying to play you. Yeah, seriously. Now I'm like, I got to, I got to, yo, yo, I got to go 50 foot. Oh, oh. Where's Kobe at, baby? Uh, I'll check with Jimmy. Probably has it. If not, I'll go back to the So, without any further anything, uh, I want to introduce to you a wonderful kid, a wonderful person, Kobe Bryant. Let me sit down because I'm tired as hell. <laughs> How you guys doing? What I want to tell you guys really is uh, if you look at the draft this year, you see a bunch of high school players coming out. You know, they want to blame me, they want to blame Kevin, they want to blame Tracy for this happening. Uh, but the main thing I want to tell you guys is don't put all your eggs in one basket. And what I mean by that is don't let people make the decision for you. Don't let people say, well, he has to go pro because his grades aren't right. Do whatever you want to do. If you want to go to Stanford, go to Stanford. If you want to go to Duke, go to Duke. If you want to go to the pros, go to the pros. Don't let them tell you what you can and cannot do. Don't rely on basketball for your happiness, because it's not going to happen. You have to make sure you balance your life out, you have something there for yourself in life, you get your education right, and on the basketball court, just rip hearts out. It's just an evaluation period. You're here to evaluate. You have to really come into this already seeing the players a number of times. This is really basically let the player know you're there watching him. It's a dream to get a lot of attention, you know? Sometimes it goes to some people's head, but me, it don't go to my head. You gotta put your mind to it if you're gonna really wanna play this game, and you gotta work every day as hard as you can. LeBron James is simply the greatest 15, 16 year old kid I've ever seen in my life. At this point in his life, he is the most mature on the court and the most gifted on the court. He has a chance, when it's all over, to be one of the greatest players ever to play the game. I just want to come here and play hard. It really doesn't matter if I'm the best player in the camp. You know, I still know what I can do. Lenny Cook has matured enormously in the last year. He's a warrior. 
there's very little confinement to his game. When he needs a basket, he'll post up inside, and he's so strong. He's not densely muscular, but he's so strong, he can hit the ground, and he goes up as quick as he can. I mean, he doesn't have to take time to gather himself. He has great boing to his game. If I could be a one player for one day, it would be Michael Jordan. For the simple fact that every time he go out, he play hard. That's why when I go out, every time I go out to play, I go out and play at my 100% best. What I got out of listening to Kobe speak when uh, he said, uh, if you're little, you just got to have heart. And uh, that kind of touched me a little. My favorite player in the NBA is Allen Iverson because he has a uh, major heart. And uh, he may be little, but uh, he brings his game every night. Years ago, back in 1995, he was at uh, camp at UCLA. And uh, he was just a little kid. And he was playing with the high schoolers. And someone said, hey, that's little Kobe, and he turned around and said, who is Kobe Bryant? They said, he's going to be a future Hall of Famer one day. He's going to be the greatest player ever lived. So, yeah, that was really, really an inspiration to him. I feel more relaxed now. It's my second year. A lot of guys are still, a lot of guys are still a little shaky. Sebastian Telford is, you know, uh, this is going to be the hardest thing to watch because he is in the city of New York. He is so young. He is a, you know, a, a blood relative of Stephon Marbury, a relative of Jamel Thomas. He's got so many things here constantly every day. But for a point guard that young, no one's ever been better. Right now, I'm fitting in pretty well. And I like it a lot more this year because they have all the guards in the same bracket. So there's a lot of competition. And I like to compete at the guard position. There's nothing wrong with going from high school to be the number one player picked in the country. But then you have another player who came out in high school playing he's in the second round with no guarantees. So there's different places for different people. And certain players, if they physically have the size to play at the next level and they can be there, nothing wrong with establishing your vocation earlier in life. But the other guys really need to concentrate on their education, have a backup plan to basketball.